Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we are near the uh, Elk Creek Range here in the Panhandle of Idaho on this wintry day. One of those days where I don't really have a plan. It's just been a while since I've been out snowshoeing and I wanted to come back to a place that I know a little bit but never explored all that much. Kind of getting bit with a little bit of cabin fever, staying in the just staying in the apartment for too long and haven't really come out for an adventure. So what I thought I would do was just uh, pack everything up and just come and see what I can see. Got a bit of snow on the ground. Should be able to find some nice scenery. Often is not when I'm going out and trying to shoot some landscape. <clears throat> I tend to focus on the grand vistas, you know, the spectacular views. But while hiking in the open fields back there, um, flurry came and pretty much obstructed the view of everything. And so what I did was I kind of retreated back here in the woods down this old Forest Service Road. And I'm coming across the scene of the trees behind me. And even though the, uh, some snowmobilers just came through, it's just, uh, it's a really neat sight of the snow falling, the green pine trees leading up to these open sky. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and set my camera gear down here, set up. I think I might find a composition. Something that I wouldn't have found if I decided to try to continue to get those Grand Vista views. So, set you down, get set up. The scene is really a quite simple scene and we got a nice little curve of the road going down and that's adding some interest in the ground. At first I didn't really like the snowmobile track in the snow but the more I look at it the more I kind of like it. The snow is continuing to fall now and I'm up about 1 20th of a second so while that's not enough motion to freeze the snow, it should add a unique perspective on the scene. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a, a variety of different compositions. At, uh, the first shot that I took included pretty much everything, the ground, the trees, the sky. And, you know, I think it's gonna be okay, but one of the things I'm concentrating on right now is something that I don't always do, is to play with the scene more. So I'm zooming in, I'm trying out different crops in camera, out of camera, uh, different focal lengths, uh, different exposures to see what I really like and that's something that we all should be doing, you know, every so often, is not to get fixated on one single scene. I mean, that's something that I'm guilty of 
more times than <laughs> than I really should. Um, I tend to focus down on, oh man, you know, this seems really nice. So I'm trying to break that habit today. And like I said, I'm just going through different motions to see what type of shot that I like best. I just posted a couple different pictures. Not sure which one I like the best, but uh, go ahead and comment down below which one's your favorite. Me, I kind of like them all. So, I don't know. I've been hiking through the woods a little bit and I just got to this opening and the clouds in front of me are starting to part and we're just starting to see the sun trying to peek through and it's casting a beautiful golden light. So I'm gonna hike around this bend, see if we can find a really cool shot because it's just it's turning out to be such a nice day. I did not expect this to happen. Even if I don't get a shot, it's just so nice to be back here. It's peaceful, it's quiet. Just a beautiful day. I've got set up I found a I think I found a location that's gonna work out the clouds are kind of up and down as far as letting light through so I went ahead and I set my camera up and everything and I took a few test shots um, even before recording um, just because I wanted to see if I could capture that light unfortunately <laughs> during the best light I think I was a little bit out of focus and it's it's hard to tell because I'm getting a bright light on me it's hard to read that LCD screen but I did finally get a shot in focus so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna kind of wait and see what that light does I think it might come back and um, it took me quite a while to find a proper composition anyway um, you know, there was a couple that would have been okay, but what I've learned over this these past year or two was to really concentrate on the shots that you think you're gonna like. You know, don't take a photo just for a photo's sake. And I've been trying to practice that for a while now. I think, you know, my overall portfolio has uh, greatly benefited 
uh, but I think my overall portfolio has greatly benefited from that, you know, taking photography with a purpose. So I'm just gonna, like I said, kind of wait it out now, take a break. I'm a few miles from my truck now and the light's gonna be going soon over the mountains and behind me, you guys can't see, I see there's another little system coming through so I definitely definitely want to be out of the mountains before that but well I'll just have to wait and see now what goes on So the clouds have pretty much blocked out the sun of my original composition and the snow is starting to go. But I have one last shot that I would like to get before the light completely goes away. Uh, the temperatures are temperatures really starting to fall right now and the snow is getting heavier and heavier. The wind's picking up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this composition while I can. I'm at F11, about 1 40th of a second, all the way about almost at 70 mil. I'm looking at it, I would say around 65, ISO 64. Two second timer, simple. With that my friends I thank you for coming along once again on this adventure if you like this video please give me a like a share or comment down below and until next time we'll see you outside